Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a trade I am probably going to put on next week. And I expect to make about $1,000 off this trade, although it might take a couple months for it to play out. But $1,000 could be the profit that I'm going to be targeting on this. So this is actually going to be on Visa. And that's because if we look at the five-year one-day chart on Visa, you can see that we're in a strong upward trend. Sure, there's been little pullbacks here and there. But for the most part, you can draw a line. I don't know why I just did that. From here to here, and it follows that line pretty closely, which is awesome. Uh, so there's a giant trend, and, and as they say, a trend is your friend, so get ready to spend. So that's what I'm going to be doing on this. I'm going to be doing a zebra on it. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's when you use a couple of options to create a synthetic long position. And in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and put it out to 2023. You can do this at 45 days out, and it'll take a significantly less capital to put on. But I'm just going to put it on, set a profit taker, let it sit, and whenever it gets filled, it gets filled. So here we go. When you're putting on the zebra to the bullish side, you want to sell the strike that's at the money. So this would be the 230. I'm going to add that to the trade here. And we're going to go ahead and say that we think this will get filled at 28, because it's between the bid and the ask. And then... You try to look at the extrinsic value, so this is about 26. Try to find a strike that is about half of that. So this would be about 25, this is 28. So I'm gonna go with uh, this one, which happens to be the 195. And I meant to buy, so it would be buying that guy. And the call you'd be buying in the money, you'd be buying two of those. And looking at that, uh, maybe we'll pretend that we get filled at 48.50. That seems about mid price, right? So 48.50. So that's what we're going to be trying to put on to make this zebra. Now, if we look at the risk profile, you can see what this graph looks like. And essentially, for every dollar that this that visa goes up, you make a hundred bucks. As it goes down, you lose money, but you lose it slower than if you owned a hundred shares. So, looking at the pink line, which would be uh, today's date, you can see. If for some reason Visa dropped down to 200, by the pink line I've only lost 2,500. But if I owned 100 shares, I lost a lot more than that. Now come expiration, which is a long time out, it'll be this blue line that we're looking at. But if we're getting down here, I probably will be closing the zebra and repositioning it, because at that point the delta is going to be needing to be readjusted. So going to the downside, we're looking at the pink line. If you look. As we increase the uh, time here, slowly the pink line gets closer to that blue line over time. Because eventually it will become the blue line. But uh, we just lose money slower using this setup than if we owned 100 shares. And going back to the upside, I'm just looking to make like a thousand bucks off this. So all we need is like a $10 move at some point in the future between now and 2023. So if uh, this is at what? Uh, 232 right now at 10 bucks, so 242. And if we look on that left corner over here as we're hovering over that price point, you can see that'd be the thousand dollar gain that we're looking for. So, this is gonna be the play that I'm gonna be putting on, and I'm actually gonna show you how you do that in Interactive Brokers. So, let me pull that up. So, I pulled up uh, V over here, and I'm gonna hop over to the January 2023. And like we said, we're going to be looking at the, um, sorry, the, the 230 call here. So I'm going to sell this. Then we're going to be buying the 195. We're going to be doing two of these. So I got to change this to a two. And then we have a pretty wide spread here. So how much do I, am I looking to get filled at. Let me switch back to Thinkorswim. So the price I'd be looking to get filled at is going to be what I predicted here and that would happen to be the max loss. I'm hovering over here to look at the blue line and it's that number there is 6900 So I'll be looking to get filled at $69 would be my target to enter this position. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. 6900 I mean sorry $69. And because it's a zebra that's my max loss if Visa goes down. Like the most I could lose on this trade is 6,900, but it'd be a slow bleed to get to that point. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and change this into a good to cancel because I'm just gonna let this sit on the market. If it gets filled, great. If not, then it just never gets filled. So I'm gonna click submit. Uh, we see this, make sure it looks good. I'm paying 6,900, that's what I expect to see. I expect to see my cash value go down as a result. So that, that looks good. Go click transmit. So here we have this active order that's in to create this zebra. The next thing I wanna do is I'm going to uh, create a profit taker. And I need to move this up so you can actually see what I'm looking at here. So I'm right clicking this and I'm gonna do an attach. And if I scroll down a little bit, it says target order and profit taker. I'm gonna click on that. On the right here, you can see it come up. And we want a thousand dollar gain here. So we know we want this to be $79. Sell, submit. Order description, sell it. Overwrite and transmit. Click OK. And here you can see if this order gets filled, I'll automatically put in an order to sell that at 79. That will stay on until, until it hits that profit point. So that's a play I'm going to be putting on next week. Actually, you just saw me put it on, or at least the order. If it gets filled or not is the other question. I think it probably will get filled at some point. So I'll just let that sit there and at some point in the future, hopefully that's just a thousand dollar gain and you just saw me put in the work to do that. If you have any questions, go ahead, leave a comment if you want to talk about zebras and you know, let me know what you guys are thinking for next week.